What is up with you? How you doing today? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I have you up close because my throat is really raw. Yesterday's Twin Flame video, I felt really choked. You know, I felt really choked by it. So my, my throat is really freaky today. So I can't really project my voice too much. I'm just trying to take it easy. But the messages are kind of flowing, so I'm doing it. <coughs> you hear that? Yeah. Okay. So let's see what's going on here for you. Let's see what's going on here for you, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right. All right, all right. Ah! Scarab Beetle Spirit, the magic works through you. I think I got that for Fire Sign today. Hummingbird. This one's showing up a lot. Hummingbird Spirit. I clear these decks between Armadillo Spirit, self, set healthy boundaries. This is a problem for people. And I, I feel like this is one of those things that it's because the old way of doing relationship was really about attachment and unhealthy things. And I feel like people are like, what? That's how a relationship works. We're attached to each other. Uh, no, it doesn't work like that. That's an unhealthy thing. Interdependence is a healthy thing. Okay, so you support each other and you do your thing, but you each have your own independent life. You each have your own thing. And so setting healthy boundaries is going to be a challenge for you or has been a challenge for you. Okay, all right. I see High Priestess under there, and then I see Scorpio. So I'm getting two of you already. Um, death. Four of Cups, Ten of Wands, Star. I feel like you just went through a breakup. And part of it was about the healthy boundary thing. And I, I don't even know if you know that, really. I feel like you're, you're very much in a place of, like, hermit mode right now. Healing is coming. Okay, healing is coming. There's the other one, Pisces, Moon, Emperor, Three of Pentacles. You could have been dealing with a uh, narcissistic partner in the past. Virgo, Aries, Aquarius, Six of Cups. Um, I feel like you have to still be in touch with them because of the children. So this person is um, still around you, trying to figure out how to... Um, they want to work with you, but they're still, but narcissistic partners, it's not about you, okay? It's about what can I do for my benefit? And if it happens to be for your benefit, then fine. But that's not my goal. Win-win. That's not a narcissist goal. Narcissists are like, I win and you got to lose. So I don't know that they know this about themselves, but you definitely are in, you've been through something been through something here devil energy absolutely hierophant yes six of wands overcoming that tower queen of swords king of pentacles so you had to blast you had to blast this look at that devil hierophant six of wands you had to overcome this the only way to do it was to blow it up there was no other choice okay so um i feel like uh you got a good settlement Okay, I feel like king, you're feeling like King of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. You can see clearly now, moving forward, you know where you're going. All right, you know where you're going. You know what you're looking for, what you want. But I got to tell you, there's a lot of healing here that needs to be done. Emperor. Emperor. Ace of Cups. Five of Cups. Knight of Cups. World. Um, I feel like this person is going to hoover you. Do you know what that means? Okay, so hoovering is they try to get you back. And that might be your tower. That might be your moment of, you know what, no. It might happen a couple of times. All right, this might happen a couple of times. But I do feel like because of the children, you're always sort of in connection with this person. And it's very frustrating. Can't get out of their energy. This cycle will keep going, okay? We just keep having these cycles. Nine cycles, like this person doesn't want to start again in their life, 
They're afraid of starting again. And they don't want to see you start again, but you're the one that's getting healed here, the star energy. And I feel like you're moving in a really good direction. Okay, Queen of Swords, King of Pentacles. You could be going toward an Earth sign here. Cancer, uh, sorry, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or Aquarius. Um, yes, this person could be from the past, from your childhood. Um, this narcissist or this, uh, they have a personality disorder. There's something wrong with them. They hide it very well. Okay, they might be a, a covert narcissist, and that's even more insidious and difficult to detect, by the way. It might seem like they're the ones who are very unassuming. This is, this is why the covert narcissists are so devastating, because they seem like they're an easy catch for you. And then they yank it away, and you're like, I never had that yanked away from me before. Why is this person doing it? So it creates, creates some obsession with you. And so they hoover you back whenever they want to because they know that there's something very unassuming about them, right, that you like. You like their very quiet demeanor. This is like the boy in high school that every mom wanted her daughter to date. And this is the asshole, forgive my French, who is worthy of running away from, okay? So this person shows up as, in your life, and has shown up several times as very, you know, not very flashy, you know, kind of like the, the worker bee, but somebody who makes you feel safe, right? You feel that energy of making you feel safe is a big thing. And um, they use that. Let's work together, all right? It's about the kids, something like that. They're trying. They're going to try to make you feel safe. Um, I do feel like you are getting your shit together here, though. All right, I think that's a really good thing. I like that. Yes, nine of cups, five of pentacles, kick them out in the cold, heal. Healing, so much healing. So much healing. Mm. So much healing. It's good. It's almost like you get a chance to kick this person to the curb. How about that? How about them apples, right? <laughs> uh, what's that movie from? Uh, with Matt Damon, MIT. He's trying to pick up that girl. He's trying to pick up... Um, that woman and the other guys getting in the way and she gave him the number and it's like, hey, you like apples? The guy's like, what are you talking about? He goes, with the phone number, how do you like them apples? I love that scene. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So I'm going to keep going with this. I will look at Virgo, Aries, Aquarius, Taurus, Capricorn, Scorpio, right? Virgo, Aries, Aquarius, Taurus, Capricorn, Scorpio. Yes. Okay. Link is below for you. I'll see you over there.